Hi, my name is Dr. Richard Abbey. I show parents of children with ADHD what to do so their children don't have to suffer anymore. Today, I'm gonna show you why your child is struggling, and I don't mean because they're lazy. So you can stop worrying about what's wrong with my child and take action instead. Here's how we're gonna do it. The first thing we're gonna talk about is your child having trouble focusing, and I'm not talking about the things that they're interested in. Not like a video game, not like reading their favorite book or playing Legos or anything like that. And you know exactly what I'm talking about because you saw this in remote school and all the things when you were trying to get your work done and you had to constantly come back and follow up and follow through on them. 10 minutes of homework, two hour battle, and you're just staying on top of them. Why is it so hard for them to focus on things that are not intrinsically interesting? That's what's super important. It's the stuff that's kind of boring. How do you power through math or history or all the things that they need to do in our kind of antiquated school system? It's just what we have right now. Unfortunately, there's no better way to do it. So how does your child do that? The first sign that I want you to think about is watching them Try to get something done that's not very interesting to them. So maybe their least favorite subject, like math, or maybe it's history, or maybe it's writing. Writing's a big one. What does that look like? Is it like writing an assignment? Is it like taking a chisel to rock? And you know, they produce three or four sentences when the assignment is like a two-page, five-paragraph assignment, and you just can't get them to do it. Is doing math like so arduous? It's like going through step by step and they're making errors on like signs and addition and following formulas. Uh, you know, look at the things, maybe history isn't their thing and getting through the history and their mind is wandering the things that are not interesting. And so what I'm not talking about is video games or books that they love or, you know, Legos that they love to do. They can do this for hours. Most parents make the error of thinking, well, my child doesn't have a focus problem because they can do X, Y, or Z. That's exactly not what we're talking about. We're talking about the things that are boring to them and how do they power through it like they need to for academics. And one important caveat is what's appropriate for their age. Five-year-old, maybe they're all over the place. When we're 10, 12, 14, we need to be able to focus and power through on these things. The second question I always ask parents, what does their room look like? So if they have their own room left to their own devices without you staying on top of them, are they neat, clean, and tidy? Everything's in their place. If you ask them to clean it up, no problem. Just a few things or is like it a complete disaster. They couldn't find anything if you asked them to. You know, wherever they go, there's like a trail left behind them. This is a huge sign of their difficulties with planning and organization, keeping their materials like organized. What does that look like? Third thing, procrastination. Are they a planner? Do they keep it organized? Do they execute, get things done ahead of time? Are they constantly falling behind? waiting till the last second to get things done. This is a real easy one. Either your child is like on top of it or they're not, or you're on top of it for them. You're their executive function planning system. And what would happen if you took that away? You know the answer to that. Because if you weren't on top of them, what would happen? And the reason you're on top of them is because you know what would happen. That's called procrastination. This is executive functions in our frontal lobes, planning, organization, super big sign that there may be a bigger problem than just normal putting things off. This might be a symptom of ADHD. Sign number four, this very low frustration tolerance. You know, can they push kind of into this zone of not being comfortable and kind of power through that? Or do they easily get frustrated just like throw their hands up and I give up, I can't do this, I'm not smart enough. Or can they just like, you know, I'm gonna stick with it, take a couple of deep breaths, get through this, power through it. What is that like for them? What is it like for you? How long does it take to soothe them? Are they kind of off on their own and they can't get back to it? Or, you know, can they soothe themselves, get through the assignments and really do a good job? Sign number five, everybody, is there's this mismatch between their ability and achievement level. What do I mean by that? You can see deep inside of them these amazing gifts and talents, and they just can't show their teachers. They constantly underachieve. They knew everything on the test, and then they go to take it. And where was that A or the B? They get a C, or they even fail the test. 
They didn't turn their homework assignment in. They had all these wonderful ideas and their paper was like a half a paragraph long instead of the five pages that you thought they were gonna produce. And this is huge. What are you gonna do about that? So you've just learned the five signs on what to look for in your child that may indicate if they have ADHD. Here's great news. If you can identify with these things, guess what? Now you can put something in action. There's something that you can actually do about that. How does that feel? I want you to pause for just a moment. Think about that. Thinking about, they're not lazy. There's something else going on. What can be done? Think about what that would be like to actually do something about this. I just told you the five signs to look for in your child that may indicate that they have ADHD. And now you know what's going on with them. You know that there might be something more. And here's a cool thing. First of all, I want you to think about that for just a moment. Like if you have determined that they're not lazy, maybe this thing is going on. What is that like for you? Yeah, you know what's super cool is you can get into action. You can do something about that. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and even subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more about helpful information that could help transform your child and make them realize their exponential potential. See you next time.